Welcome to Electron Line, and here let's take another closer look at what exponential functions are. Let's look at the characteristics of exponential functions, something that will help us understand a little bit more what they are and what those graphs look like. So here typically we have y equals 3 to the x. Notice that x gets bigger, y gets bigger much faster. For example, when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 9. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 27, and so forth. So you can see that it grows very quickly. But what happens when the constant, the base of this function, changes? What if it's y equals 2 to the x power? Well, what happens is the function will still cross the y-axis at x equals uh, at y equals 1. So this would be the point 0, 1, x equals 0, y is equal to 1. So when the, the base, the constant goes to, for example, 2, what happens to the function is that it doesn't grow quite as fast. So the function looks a little bit more like this. So this would be y equals 2 to the x power. And on the other side, you can see that it doesn't get smaller as quickly, so it diminishes. It goes down to 0, not quite as fast. So what happens when the constant becomes, let's say, 1.5? Well, again, the function doesn't grow as fast. I'm trying to get the top off here. All right, here we go. So the function would look a little bit more like that. So we have y is equal to 1.5 to the x power. And again, it doesn't go down to 0 quite as fast here. Now, what if the base becomes 1? Now, that's interesting. You typically don't see that in a textbook. But when you think about it, whenever you have 1 raised to the x power and x becomes any value, 1 raised to any value will still equal 1. That means you're simply going to get a straight line like this. And when x becomes a negative number, that doesn't matter. You're still going to get a straight line like this. So you see that y equals 1 to the x power is simply a straight line at y equals 1. What if the, what if the uh, value for the constant gets bigger? For example, 10, y equals 10 to the x power. Well, that means that the function will grow much more quickly and the function would look a lot more like this. So this would be y equals 10 to the x power. But now what happens when the constant, oh, and of course, when you come this way, you can see that it comes, goes down to zero much quicker here. Now, what happens when the constant becomes a number less than one? Well, what happens is that it kind of reverses the function. For example, I'm looking for a different color right here. Uh, let's say that y is equal to one-tenth to the x power. Well, what happens then is the function will look like this. It will look like the mirror image of y is equal to 10 to the x power. So then the function will look like this. So this would be y equals 1 over 10 to the x power. And that makes a lot of sense because when you think about it, when x becomes a negative number on this side, that will then reverse the function because one, y equals 1 10 to the minus 1 power is equal to y equals 10 to the positive 1 power, so it basically is the mirror image about the y-axis. In that respect, if we then take another color, I think I'm running out of colors here. Let me try this color right here. Let's say that we have y is equal to uh, 1 over 2 to the x power. That would be the mirror image of y equals 2 to the x power. So you can see that this function right here would be equal to y equals 1 over 2 raised to the x power. So you can see that then gives you the mirror image. y equals 1 third to the x power would be the mirror image of this one. y equals 1 over 1.5 to the x power would be the mirror image of this purple line right there. So that shows you how the exponential function changes when you change the base. It simply lets the function grow more quickly for large base numbers, less quickly for small base numbers, not at all. It'll be a straight line, a flat line when the base is equal to 1. And when the base is less than 1, it simply gives you the mirror image about the y-axis. So that gives you some, uh, some ideas about what exponential functions are. It gives you some of the characteristics of these functions. And that's what they look like.